Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bison Workshop, I'm Bob, and today I am putting master cylinders on my Big Bear 400, and uh, I did one of them, and I thought, you know what, this would be a good video to show somebody on how to bleed your master cylinder on your four-wheeler. And this, is, this applies to any four-wheeler. It also applies to any vehicle. You do the exact same thing. Uh, with slight variations. Um, so what we'll do is put you down here and we'll show you how we're going to do this. Alright, so now I've got the master cylinder mounted. And I got the cap off. And... Right now we have nothing. So the first thing you do is you don't put your line on. Uh, if you put your line on it and you try to bleed it with the line on it, you're just going to introduce more air to the hose and it'll start moving down into your master cell or your uh, calipers. You don't want that. You want to contain that air bubble up here. You're going to have an air bubble because when you took this off, all that's inside there come out so that's a pretty big bubble so you always want to keep keep these up as high as you can so that you don't lose any fluid out of the tube so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and add brake fluid to it and i'm using dot four brake fluid And then I'm just going to put a little bit in it. I'm not going to put a lot in it. Now, if you notice, you have two holes right here in the center. One of them is input and one of them is output. Inlet, outlet. So when you push this, it's pulling in. You let loose, it lets the air out. Now it's not going to do nothing right now. I got to hold the end of that to hold pressure on it. So we'll hold it. See there? Now it's doing something. And I can feel the pressure against my finger so it's actually bleeding. So what it's doing is circulating the fluid between these two holes. And you see the air coming out of it. And this is a slow process, so you better have some patience. Because it takes a while for it to fill that reservoir or the hole or cylinder hole with fluid. So I'm just holding my finger on the end of it just to keep pressure on it so it doesn't bring air in. Now, this time I hit it, I felt pressure really bad against my finger. So we're just going to keep going real slow. until we see the minimum amount of bubbles. But eventually, it'll start shooting. So once you get your bubbles out of it, see that? Now it's starting to shoot up. All right, so now it's bled. So now we can go ahead and at our hose. Now I got a towel here to keep that fluid from going down on my plastic. So I'll do this quickly, as quick as I can. So I'll lose as little fluid as possible. And then we tighten her down. Now when I put these on, I, I kind of like them to be straight down. So we're going to do that right there. Alright. Now...
So now I've got pressure. Now this is probably going to shoot. It did on the last one. But we're going to put us a little bit of pressure on that. And then we're going to open that until it spews. And watch your eyes. So now it's released. And I felt, I heard air. So now we're going to do it again. And try to be careful not to blow that up in your face. And then we're going to do it again. There we go. Now we got fluid. So now we can tighten this up. Wipe it down. And we're done. Now all we got to do is add fluid to it. And I usually go just to the top of the uh, hole where the eyesight glass is. Right there. Actually, that might be a little bit too much. We'll see. It'll probably spew out, so... All right, now we can go ahead and put that down. So now we'll see if we can't straight or test it out. Back it up. Did I just lose something? <laughs> Alright, so the front one's working. So now we'll try the front back one. And they're working too. And they work really good too. <laughs> and I can lock it. I can lock both of them. Uh, this one here doesn't pull back as far, but it still holds it. So that'll work. So now I gotta find a new place to put my um, winch switch. So I'm thinking about. mounting my switch right here so I'm probably gonna make a new plate and mount that switch right there I don't like it up here on my steering it's too bulky ugly I gotta go ahead and put some uh, zip ties on this but anyway that is how you uh, bleed the master cylinder on any ATV. Uh, on a car, the only difference is you got two coming out and you have to put a little hose on it with a fitting that screws into the uh, master cylinder and then you roll that up into the reservoir underneath the fluid. So when, the, when you pump it, your... Uh, pushing the air through that and going back into the master cylinder and just keep recircling, recirculating it until you have no more bubbles. And that's how you uh, bleed any master cylinder. So uh, it's just, like I said, a little different on an ATV, but very slight variations. So I hope you guys learned something in this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.